In a previous video, I shared with you guys an AI tool known as ChatGPT that is all the rage right now. I reviewed the tool, took it on a test drive, did some tests on plagiarism, word count, and all the things that it actually has to offer. So, but this video is going to be on how to use ChatGPT effectively. I'm going to try to keep this short and simple, so let's get into it. So the first thing I would say when it comes to using ChatGPT effectively is to regenerate once or twice at the end of every search or every um, chat i don't know i think that's what they intend for you to call this so at the end of every chat with chat gpt you would see this button down here that says regenerate response so if you click on this it's going to take the exact same query that you had before and start to create a new piece of content based on it now you would you'd end up having instead of one you have about three variations of the same blog article so the reason why this is in important is you want to now mix different parts of these different articles you know uh, and maybe you can take the intro from the first one and take the middle from the, the second one take the you know just mix and match you get the idea and then you have something a little bit more unique i think this tip is going to actually help you use chat gpt more effectively now number two is you want to rearrange the the results that you get from using chat gpt so what i mean by this is to actually move things around so you can take the first paragraph and make it number two and take the number five paragraph and you just rearrange things so that it's not exactly as you got it you know you just copy and paste like you got it at the end of your every query okay so just rearrange the paragraphs and words and things like that so that's number two last but not the least is to use it as a starting point i cannot emphasize this enough this is actually the most important point use it as a starting point and if you think about it as something that just gets your creative juices flowing you are going to not just copy and paste things and then run into trouble of getting penalized by platforms like google for using ai generated content on your blogs or your website and stuff so you want to think about it as this is just the it's just like simple research now you have all the facts that you might need for your blog post and then you build on it and try to make it more real so by actually injecting words into it and one trick i usually use is to have a word um, target okay a number of words that i want to go for and i aim higher than what um, gpt will give to me so usually like i showed you guys in the other video it does around 500 to 600 words whether or not you ask it to give you more than that so so i make it a target to say okay my blog posts are going to be a thousand five hundred words that's to say um, chat gpt cannot do all of it for me so it's just going to give it's just going to give me 500 words or 600 and now i am forced to generate organically the or the remaining 1000 or 1500 words that i might need okay so that's one way that you can force yourself into actually using this as a start point but all in all just be in that mind space of this thing is not something i'm just going to rely on at the push of a button i copy paste and make my content based off of it you actually want to inject some of your personal touches to whatever results you get from chat gpt so those are my three points or three ways that you can use um, chat gpt to have more effective results and stay out of trouble with uh, a platform like google um, when they penalize you for plagiarism or using an ai tool straight up so thank you for watching the video guys you want to watch this next one and i'll see you there take care